Hey guys, uh, today we've got a tree frog build. Now, it, there's no tree frog in Super Auto Pets, really, but I'm calling it the tree frog build because I'm using both the tree ent and the frog. Now, if you know how both of those units work, you probably know how this is going, but I'll explain it regardless because it's tier one, so nothing exciting is really happening. With this, I, I am grabbing possum, which is my favorite tier one, so it's a little exciting, to me at least. <laughs> So the idea is, Frog is a tier 1 pet that swaps the attack and health of adjacent pets at the start of battle, or on cell, or I believe at the end of turn. Usually people get this to level 2 and swap good stats onto a unit that uses those stats better. So maybe from a self-scaler to a uh, something that uses a percentage of whatever. And we've got the beta fish there, by the way, and we're actually keeping the beta fish until the end of this game, which is uh, pretty much an opportunist thing. This was a pet that we are going to put stats on, so we're going to use it like that. But yeah, I'm actually using frog at level one this whole time, and that's, that's a common theme here with this hatching chicken stuff is this is one of the few builds I, I do where I don't need like a ton of experience really fast. I can just kind of do it. Uh, the hatching chick, I only want at level 2 because I only want stats. But yeah, we're going to use the level 1 frog to bypass the thing with tree ent, which we're grabbing now. Tree ent gives itself coconut if its attack is less than 6, or less than 12, or less than 18, I believe. That's pretty limiting, that's why it's a tier 3 that gets coconut, because that has to do that. For most, it didn't grab coconut there, because uh, its ability triggered before the frogs did. But the whole point of this is that we're going to make it... We're going to see right here, I buy this lettuce, and now the tree ent has higher attack than the frog. So it will gain coconut, and then get the stats from the beta fish, and we're bypassing the whole point of tree ent, essentially. And it's kind of fun. It's pretty good. Like, it would probably be fairly decent in a weekly. It's certainly not good enough to be, like, a strat you could just run in, like, customs. But there's few things that are like that at this point. Uh, for Jerboa enjoyers, I guess. Jerboa's still in. But So, yeah, we're up to 14 on it now, which means uh, that is something that only a level 3 tree ent would be able to get coconut with, and very soon here, uh, it might even be this round, uh, it doesn't even uh, matter, like a a level 3 tree ent, yeah we're at 18 right now, so this is a, the max a level 3 tree ent could have, but we have 3 level 1 pets that completely bypass that, really just the 2, the other one's just a thing to hold stats. And that's kind of nice. Now here I'm grabbing Drink Me Liquid. Drink Me Liquid is a really nice food from Unicorn Pack that removes a certain stat and adds a bit more, or it removes attack and adds health, which is really nice. Um, in all, a lot of my attempts, they failed just because I wasn't a little careless with what things I grabbed, uh, like food-wise or pet-wise, and I scaled the frog too high. So I added that, and that really helps me be more careful. And, yeah, um, th there was a unique thing to this. Um, I couldn't use Poodle, I couldn't use Husky, because I need specifically single scalar units. I have to be really careful not to get stats on my frog or my GM. <laughs> Look at that. I mean, it just crushed a gorilla. You know, that's like the... When you think of coconut units, that's the stereotypical, that's a coconut unit, you know? And we just demolished it with this, now it's going to be a 39-37 unit with coconut on turn 11, which is, oh, sorry, 43-39. Oh, maybe that's why I said I can't remember, actually. It's crazy amounts of stats here with coconut. Um, it, this is a really fun way to break the unit. And I thought it'd be a fun little run. Definitely not worth two runs, in my opinion. It's, it's a pretty simple strategy, but it's, in my opinion, very satisfying. And now it's almost 50-50, <laughs> which is awesome. It, and we're, I mean, we're crushing Siberian Husky teams, so it cannot be that bad. And you've still got three life left. And you see, I'm gonna just pull in a grizzly bear here to have just a little bit of Sutton extra to 
try to kick us past the uh, finish line here. We've now got a 50-45 there. Which will leave us with a final uh, coconut pet of 50-49. Almost a perfect 50-50. Really, yeah, it was just fun. So yeah, that's all I have for today. Uh, I'll talk to you later. <laughs> have a great day.